Eldoret, where business people are selling food in Eldoret market have taken the required measures to ensure that all customers are washing their hands before they handle anything at the market as a way of preventing the virus from spreading. John Wanyama is at the market with details. John, it's great to see you this morning. What are you able to observe from where you are? Thank you and a very good morning to you, Zinzi. As you can see, they are not taking anything for chance and they have already put and ensure that everybody who is coming to this particular market to buy foodstuffs, this is the only main foodstuff market here in Eldoret, they want to ensure that you wash your hand first before you touch anything, be mango, fruits or vegetables, you have to wash your, your, your hands first before you proceed with your buying, whatever you have come here to do. Uh, Zinzi, this is a very good gesture, especially from people who are selling uh, these foodstuffs in this particular market because the government is insisting that each and everybody should and must wash their hands each and every time. Let's hear from them. They are here. Madam Unaitwa Nani na pengine ni nini hasa mmeweza kufanya kuhakikisha kwamba eh, mnazuia corona kabisa haisambai katika soko hili. Kwa majina yangu naitwa Dorcas Nyambura Kihara. Tumejaribu kuweka usafi maana tumenunua mitungi, tumeweka maji na sabuni ambayo ni Dettol ili kuhakikisha usafi umepatikana katika hii soko yetu. Customer anapokuja anaosha mikono yake pia nasi wakati tumeshika pesa unajua pesa hata pia inaweza changia. Tukishika pesa baada ya mradi kidogo tunaona tunanawa mikono yetu. E, ndio tu hakikishe usafi ime, imepatikana katika soko yetu. Pengine kuna maji ya kutosha katika soko hili, sabuni mko nayo ya kuosha mikono? Sabuni tuko nayo maana tu, hata maji iko ya kutosha maana kaunti yetu umetuwekea maji ya kutosha na tunashukuru kwa zile ya, ya MC yewe tu maana aliendose kila watu wanunue kwa kila section wanunue mitungi yao tuweke hali ya usafi na sisi tunafurahia kwa hiyo Mama songa hapa tuzonge, tuongee na wewe kidogo unaitwa nani na umehakikisha nini angalia kamera unahakikisha kivipi kuhakikisha kwamba watu wako ambao wanakuja kununua bidhaa kwako wako na wanazingatia usafi Kwa majina naitwa Jane Mbone soko ya Edoret Municipal Kitu ya kwanza tunashukuru hii ugonjwa tunataka iende iende tena. Nataka niseme hivi, Edore tuko wasafi hata MC yiko hapo ndani hapa hata wakina ma ofisa yetu yiko wanakuangalia usafi na tunaosh tunaoga mikono na sabuni ya teto na tena tuko na ndimu na tena uchafu hakuna ndani ya soko yetu wanakuchunga sana sana hata municipal hata serikali iko hapa ndani inaangalia masilaa yetu na mi nashukuru hata Jackson Mandago walitangaza asubuhi soko yake iko safi iko uhuru tunataka tuuze vitu yetu hatutaki soko ifungwe na mimi ni hiyo hayo asante <laughs> Anza kwa majina yako. Watu wako unawaweka katika hali ya usafi ilioje? Kwa majina naitwa Agneta Ambani. Watu wangu wakishaingia kwa geti wakiingia soko, unaingia uoshe mikono kwanza ndipo sa ukuje kununua matunda yenye unataka. Na ukitaka kununua matunda, tuko na maji hapo kwa besheni ya kuosha mikono, ndipo sa uchukue hiyo matunda uoshe na ukule. Sisi hatuna shida sokoni tuko na usafi wa hali ya juu. Na tena kitu yenye tunasema tuko na watu wetu wa kutulinda sokoni na tuko na afya. Hata ukiangalia kila mtu hapa ni msafi na tumeosha mikono yetu imekuwa safi. Na tunashukuru vile mmetutumia watu wetu wanakuja kutuangalia vile tunaendelea na, na, na pengine ume, umesikia kuhusu hii ugonjwa wa corona. Ugonjwa tumesikia na hata tumeshangani ugonjwa gani hiyo. Na hapa kwetu wasilingishwa haijafika. Tafadhali na tunaomba. Maombi tunaomba isifike. Na tunasema na Nairobi, nanyi muombe. from them. Let's hear from the MC here Mheshimiwa Chomba. Are you happy with what uh, the people here have done specifically looking at their health? Uh, nashukuru watu wa hii soko. Sababu ile usafi wameweka ni ya hali ya juu vile wameweza kujiprevent ndio hii ugonjwa iko na hii tulielezwa na mwenye inchi ambaye ni uhuru Kenyatta ati tuweke usafi hii ugonjwa iko kila mahali duniani lakini usafi 
ndio unahitajika kwa hivyo tupatie Mungu yo usafi anahitaji na hii maisha nyingine magonjwa yende na tunashukuru governor Mandago na county commissioner wetu vile kuwa mstari wa mbele kupigana na hii mambo ya hii ugonjwa kuweka usafi usafi eldoret imeekwa kwa hivyo hiyo ni shukurani kwa governor na hiyo iendelee kwa kila mmoja wetu Thank you thank you very much the last person here your name sir i have you ensured that your people who are coming to buy food stuff from you are well protected are they washing hands Mimi kwa majina naitwa Peter Wenena mimi ndio organizer katika soko ya wholesale market nafikiri kwa wakati huu county yetu nashukuru governor wetu kwa sababu ya kutufungulia maji maji imekuwa ni mingi katika kila mahali na hata umeona watu wa Eldoret ni watu wasafi sana na ninahakikisha kwamba watu wetu wanapoingia sokoni wanapoingia sokoni mtu ananawa mkono mle ambaye anauza chakula pia ananawa mkono hata ukishika pesa unanawa mkono na nafikiri usafi umekuwa mwingi hapa katika county yetu kwa sababu sisi hatu ni kama corona itafika Eldoret nashukuru governor wetu nashukuru MCA wetu naona alirauka mapema kukuja kuhakikisha kwamba tunakaa kwa usafi thank you since as you have had from residents here there are so many people who will want to speak here but we will also be talking to them in our other subsequent bulletins but since the ma the main thing that is really uh, these people are doing here is that uh, they are trying to do what they can to ensure that this uh, disease is not spread especially in case it happens to come here in Eldoret they are saying they are doing whatever they can but away from this market since yesterday governor Jackson Mandago and together with the county commissioner Abdi Jaldeza said that they are going to they have put in place some measures also to ensure that residents they must follow so that they can maybe avoid this disease one of them being uh, is that uh, people should stop going for funeral and people should stop attending weddings unless they are close friends but if you are found going for those funerals and attending weddings that you are not a relative then you will be arrested and taken to police station you will be charged for that and also for those who are traveling from outside the country they have been requested to go to hospital so that they can be checked and if they will not do that then the government will be forced to arrest them so that they can be quarantined in government facility